over here I've been working on some kind of boot and I see some brass oh. <laughs> nice look at that oh, these are no doubt from the cavalry oh those are definitely government issued I'm at the site of one of the earliest settlements in the Midwest the historic significance here is through the roof Note I am on private property, and I've got permission to excavate the grounds in search of artifacts. I'll take a walk around and see what's going on. We had spent days gritting this out. You'll see some markers, some areas where the ground's been disturbed. We dug some test holes. We confirmed the barracks once stood there. And we hadn't found the pit yet, but I was walking around back here, and I noticed some glass fragments on the ground. You may see it's a bit sunken as well. I would pushed a probe rod through the ground, I hit some compaction differences, some gravel, surprisingly, that's not natural here, and some other objects. We'll get this thing opened up. I think we found it. I was scooping with the backhoe for a while. I noticed the soil started changing color. You'll see that kind of brown color. There was also some bright white layers. And when I dumped out the bucket, this rolled out. Looks like an 1880s beer bottle. That is something else. It's got an applied top. We've got a long way to go though, so we'll climb down and get to work. We are into a solid use layer. There is so much stuff down here. It all looks, they have some great age. Looks like a, yeah, an applied top beer made by Reed and Company. That's gotta be 1880s. You can see this color change in the soil. This is a use layer from an old outhouse pit. So we've got a shoe polish bottle. That's a tooled top, circa 1880s. And a shoe fly liquor flask. You'll notice the soil is soft down here. As I mentioned, this is a manure layer. This is, again, that 1880s era. Another applied top beer. Oh, that is beautiful. It's a turn mold piece. Would have had a foil band around the top there, cork top. Nice. And another applied top beer. ABG Company. I believe that's. American Bottle and Glass Company. The number is just the mold. What do we have here? Now this pit is military related. Sometimes there's a uh, United States Army medical bottles. This isn't one, but it could have definitely been uh, sold here at the Fort's Hospital. this stuff. Wow, that is a liquor court there. <laughs> it's one of the biggest coffin whiskeys I've ever dug. Oh, and a shoe polish. So the soldiers would have been keeping their boots real tidy. I find a lot of these in these frontier forts. It's full of groundwater. Look at that. Another, uh, oh, LG Company. Forgot the company that made these, but this is also 1880s. Would have had a cork top. Sometimes these are marked on the side of the company as well. This one isn't. And another shoe polish. It's a tooled top. Look at these. This is incredibly early for this part of the country. Got a SB&G company. 
That's the Streeter Bottle and Glass Company of Streeter, Illinois. Another cork top. That is something else. I am blown away. Another shoe polish, boot polish bottle. Same tooled top. Nice aqua color. And another. This one, there we go. Got some writing on this one. Looks like a Acme Blacking. Oh wow, yeah, that was cool to find those with the writing on them. That's again from the 1880s. We are definitely on the right track here. It's like a couple of old ale bottles. They're black glass, could be English made. You'll see it's still a solid use layer. I think this thing's intact. Look at that. That's gotta be a quart size. Oh yeah, that's an applied top. No markings on it. That is a classic piece right there. Maybe a beer of some sort. Oh, that's an old one. That's got a really nice honey amber color too. DOC on the bottom, that's likely the glass works. Yeah, that's an applied top. It's got some amazing iridescence. And another one. Wow. Let's see here. Another applied top beer. BG Company in a T. Look at that, and that's a key mold. You'll see the circle in those lines. It's from the mold plates pressing the molten glass together at the factory. This would have been a cork top sealed with a cork. There's another one below this. Got another, uh... huh. SB and G Company, at Streeter Bottle and Glass Company of Streeter, Illinois. This is incredible age for this part of the country. Another applied top piece. Just an X on the bottom. That is unusual. I don't think there's any embossing on this thing. That is so crude though. Wow. And another beer. And another one. And a medicine. This pit is loaded, so this must be the area under the bench where all the stuff would have been dropped down. Potter Chemical Company. Katikura Resolvent, that's a patent medicine. The bottles are just stacked down here. this. I've never seen one of these. I see Chicago, Illinois. Brady. Brady and something whiskey. 
it looks like a Duffy's, but this is a, this is something different. Looks like an applied top. It's got a monogram. This is significant. This is something really special. Look at all those seed bubbles in it. And another applied top beer bottle. C and Company LIM. I've dug these before. There's uh, no other embossing. This would have had a paper label on it. Another applied top piece. Uh, DOC on the bottom. I don't see any embossing otherwise. Yeah, applied, applied top, cork top beer. Looks like another beer bottle. Still a solid use layer. May have found bottom here at about eight feet. Uh, another applied top. Looks like a LG company. It's got a key mold bottom, cork top. We've got another beer bottle here. Looks like a, another early one. Yeah, another applied top piece. DOC 17 on the bottom. And yeah, no embossing. Circa 1885. Heading south in the pit now. There's no end in sight. I haven't found the north side either. Got this beer bottle loose. Another applied top piece covered in lime. Uh, no other embossing. Again, 1880s. Looks like some kind of prescription bottle here. Uh, and another bottle behind it. Look at that, that's a Philadelphia Oval style. No embossing, but that's got some great iridescence on it. Another beer, uh, some kind of ale, champagne possibly. Got a partial label, but nothing else that's, I think a, yeah, an applied top turn mold piece. These soldiers like to drink beer, I guess. Look at that. This one's a beautiful honey amber color. Applied top, DOC. 21 on bottom. And another beer. Look at all these in here. Looks like four more. And yeah, they're just uh, wedged together in here. Another applied top. Got some amazing iridescence. AGWL on bottom. That's the glass works. And another one. What is going on here? Gotta be careful prying these loose so I don't chip something. This one had a foil band on it. Reed and Company. Again, it has some amazing iridescence. Okay, looks like some more boot polish. The oh yeah, Acme Blacking, trademark. Uh, Philadelphia, the soldiers were keeping their boots shined. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff down here. 
Yeah, another Acme Blacking. Must have been a popular product in the barracks. It looks like another beer. What is going on here? Yeah, another applied top. Reed and Company. Look, it almost looks blue. It's got so much opaling on it. And another. Surprisingly few liquor bottles in this pit. Maybe they were only allowed to drink beer. All that, that's all that was shipped into the fort. There's a couple more behind it. Streeter Bottle and Glass Company of Streeter, Illinois. Another applied top piece. Oh, hey, a horseshoe. Oh, that's really cool. Fairly corroded. Might uh, clean up well. And another beer. Another Reed and Company applied top. Oh, maybe another boot polish. No embossing on this thing. Uh, tooled top. Another beer. It makes me wonder how many of these weren't supposed to be used. Maybe they were thrown down the pit, hide the evidence. Maybe the soldiers weren't supposed to be drinking. It's not a lot that was thrown down here for the size of the pit. This one's beautiful. It's got some seed bubbles. Now what's going on here? This was unusual. I haven't found anything quite like this yet. Looks like Huh. Oh Worcestershire sauce. That's a 1880s Worcestershire sauce bottle. That is something else. Whatever this was, some kind of preserve container. Almost looks terracotta or something. I don't see any maker's marks on it. It's got an Albany slip glaze inside. Looks like a couple more beers. One's broken, but looks like two of them are intact. Another applied top piece. It's a turn mold. Doesn't look like there's any other embossing. Oh, there might be a couple bottles in here. Another applied top beer. Just an M on the bottom. These are some nice early pieces. See that? It's got a key mold. A really crude top. 
I don't think there's any embossing. Sometimes these will have a slug plate. This one doesn't. It's a nice piece though. Another beer bottle. Applied top, the soldiers like their beer, I guess. DOC on bottom. Another embossing, that's a nice lighter amber color. Well, a couple of bottle shapes we haven't seen yet here in this pit. Could be some kind of medicine here. Uh, let's see what we have. Yeah, this could have been a Right out of the fort's hospital, it's a tool top. Definitely some kind of pharmaceutical piece. Looks like it could be as late as 1890, could be 1880s. This looks like a pumpkin seed whiskey of some sort. It's uh, appearing to be intact. Do we have any embossing? Oh, that's a nice, is it quart size? That's a nice size piece. That's definitely 1880s there. I think we got it cleared back down to where we were. There was a lot of dirt we had to move. Looks like a, some kind of ale bottle. What do we have here? Oh, black glass wine. That's really something. That's got an applied top. That's a, a definitely 1880s for sure. Over here, I've been working on some kind of boot. And I see some brass. Oh, nice. Look at that. Got a pair of brass spurs. Uh, these are no doubt from the cavalry. That is something else. It looks like uh, one of them must have broken on the end here, so it was discarded. And uh, oh, those are definitely government issued. I've got another one down here. What do we have? Looks like a crude whiskey bottle, turn mold applied top. It's got a partial label, nothing left on it though. And maybe another one. I got a applied top beer bottle. So the soldiers were drinking. There's definitely some cavalry officers staying here in the barracks. AGWL on bottom. This one has some amazing iridescence as well. That looks like there's a maybe a beer or whiskey sticking out of the wall here. What do we have? Looks like a beer. Yeah, it's got a an applied top. AGWL on the bottom as well. No other embossing. You can see it was into a solid use layer there. All that brown color. I'm towards the bottom here. I see a couple more beer bottles, I believe. Huh. Not sure if I found the side yet or not. These are wedged into the clay. They've been down here a long time. Another uh, pine top beer bottle. Turn mold on this one. No embossing. I think this one's filled with groundwater. Yeah, another 
applied top. Huh. This is a SBNG Company F. This is an early mark for this company. I'm guessing this is early 1880s. I believe they started manufacturing bottles in 1881. Definitely one of their first. Looks like some kind of aqua piece. Might be our first aqua beer bottle out of here. There's a couple other pieces here too. Okay, it's got the rounded collar. ABG Company 4 on the bottom. That's an applied top. Would have been sealed with a cork. This one over here could be interesting. It's a uh, got some panels on it. And <laughs> nice. It's a penny pipe. This is an old one. Sometimes these have the maker's marks on them. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's hard to read. You can see the stamping on the side there. But I wonder what this thing could be. Okay, it might be a liquor bottle. Haven't found a lot of these in here. There we go. That's a quart shoe fly style liquor bottle, full of ground water. As you can see, it was in a heavy use layer. Maybe another beer. Getting all kinds of stuff in here. Maybe some paper, leftover toilet paper from the pit. Oh, yeah, might have a couple bottles here. Gotta be careful with this cloth. Yeah, I got another beer. DOC 6 on bottom. No other embossing. Another beer. These just start being embossed. See, looks like a key mold bottom. Yeah, no other embossing. It would have had a paper label. You can see some remnants on there, that red color. And another. I am amazed. This might be a record number of beer bottles. Turn mold. Applied top. I thought I found the side, but this pit keeps going. Probably another beer bottle. Oh, here we go. It's got a little prescription, a Philadelphia Oval style. Would have had a paper label on the front. Sometimes these are embossed. Uh, this one's blank. Oh, and we got another one. Oh, this is wild. Here we go. Some kind of like terracotta pot lid. So this is a preserve, preserve jar lid. I actually found pieces of the broken preserve jar earlier. Uh, these would have held likely pickled goods of some sort. These are kind of wedged in here. All right, some kind of a wine bottle. That again, has that red label on the front. This one might actually be a turn mold. Uh, okay, applied top. Turn mold applied top wine bottle. And another one. 
full of groundwater. And applied top turn mold beer. It's uh, the usual at this point. It's got that foil band around the top. And another beer. I think I'm going for a record number of these things now. C and Co. LIM4 on the base. Getting a variety of companies anyway. There's a pile of cloth and leather in the pit. And I believe this is a pair of socks issued by the U.S. Quartermaster's Department. It's hard to tell because they're so uh, crunched up. I don't want to be too rough and break them. But there's also piece of what I believe is a frock coat. This was also military issued. There's all kinds of leather behind here as well. But we do have a couple more bottles here. Uh, it looks like another beer filled with groundwater. Uh, SB&G company, I believe. Uh, and applied top. That's a 1880s like everything else in here. I believe there's some kind of an English ale. I saw the top of it sticking out. Or it could be a beer. Okay, it's a beer. It's got a different style top to it than we've been finding. LG Company. Another generic piece with a uh, no embossing on the side. I managed to get through all that leather Seems it was something to do with horses. Could be part of a hitching mechanism, maybe a horse bridle. <sighs> Looks like a, another blob top beer. C and Company LAM on the bottom. Acme Blacking. Yeah, this must have been the stuff they were using. I've found a bunch of these now. And another one. Uh, is this one embossed? Let's see. No embossing on this one. Could have just been a generic piece. Still has the cork in it, though. That's cool. But anyway, kind of hitting the clay layers here. A couple more pieces of leather, but I think this pit's done. This was no doubt one of the more significant excavations I've been on. Everything here dated back to the 1880s and was no doubt used by the barracks. We got a variety of pieces. All this leather indicates cavalry. There's some preserve jars, a couple wines. An incredible amount of beers. Look at all of those. Could be a new record. A lot of boot polish, some odds and ends, medicines, and a few liquor bottles. I was amazed at the beer to liquor ratio. Well, there you have it. Got a ways to go. We'll get this thing filled back in.